Let's start, after we done with collection widget. We will continue to create photos grid. First, we add heading with sliver padding and sliver to box adapter, so we can put normal widget inside the custom scroll view, in this case we put text widget. Before we continue in the UI, we will setting up our repository for getting photos from our backend or REST API. We will create a function to get photos with specific page so we can have auto pagination or infinite scroll. And we will create a photo model first, to represent our JSON result as an object in our code. We also use Freezed and JSON Serializable to create this model to make it easy. You can run the build runner to generate the code. After we done with our model now we can create our implementation, same as get collection we also get it with async await and get method. After we done with our repository we can continue creating our UI, but before that, we need to setting up our qubit and its state. For the state we add the same state as collection and add to more parameter for paging. In our qubit we add a function to get photos data from our API through our repository. For auto paging, we need to check first, if the page we want to get is first page, then we simply post or emit the result. But if not we will add the result into the current list photos. After that, we call get photos immediately when we create our block. After we done with all of that, now we can continue creating out photo grid. In our photo grid or photos widget, we will use block builder so we can listen to changes from the state. First we will check if our photos is not successfully loaded, and we'll show loading widget if is not successful. A loading widget that we will use is just a simple grid with shimmer effect, we use flutter staggered view package so we can have staggered grid instead of square grid. Like this one.
And for the real photos grid we will use sliver grid with same configuration like in the loading widget. It will have two photos in horizontal axis, 8 for spacing, inverted repeated pattern, and a 2 to 1 ratio in height. And a delegate that will return stack with gesture detector, images, gradient container, and a text for the photographer name and a child count base on the photo's length. And now for the pull to refresh and auto pagination or infinity scroll, we will use pull to refresh package, so first we need its controller. And wrap our custom scroll view in a smart refresher widget, and put the refresh controller in this widget. Because the default header will use platform specific design, we will use a custom header, so a pull to refresh header will have same design in the Android and in the iOS. It is the same for the footer, we will use a custom footer, so the footer will have same design in the Android and in the iOS. For the pull up or refresh function, we will get or refresh the collection and the photos when the user pull down the scroll. And for the pull-up, we will get the next page photos from the current page, so after we reach the bottom it will automatically call the function and have infinity scroll effect. For the get next photos function, it just a simple incremental pages and calling get photos with incremented page or next page. And the last one, we need to wrap our scaffold in a block listener. So when the refresh or the auto paginate success or failed the page will stop its loading animation and show the next photo. And that's it. Thanks for watching.